So you're moving to the Atlanta area and you're looking for a neighborhood that has a planned community feel. And perhaps you like that homogeneous look, but you still want to live in the city ITP. Well, stay tuned because in this video, I'm going to show you around several different areas here in the Atlanta area where you can find just that. So let's get after it. Let's talk about planned communities here in the Atlanta area right now. Hey guys, my name is Molly and welcome to my channel. Let's just get after it right now. So you want kind of that planned community feel. Maybe you just feel safer because you've got a lot of neighbors really close by or maybe just like that homogeneous look. Well, I have a series of like 12 different neighborhoods I'm gonna tell you about. This is gonna be a two part series because there's just not enough time in the day to cover them all in one video. So I'm gonna get started right here on my first one. This is probably one of my more favorite ones because it is not only, you know, a very planned community but it has a lot of walkability i'm talking about glenwood park now like always i have vlog tours on pretty much all these neighborhoods that i'm going to talk about so if you want like the full shebang tour then check out that vlog tour on my youtube channel but glenwood park what i love about it you know you've got a lot of beautiful homes these are definitely going to be more executive style homes very little yard they're very close together but you get some really great square footage i'd say like around 3,000 square feet and the price ranges for these are going to be right around that 1 million i saw one that was one and a half million there's also some townhomes and condos in this neighborhood too townhomes run around 750 to 850 and the condos are probably in the 300k range so it's um, a really cute community it's got like this oval park right here in the center now i'm filming this in the winter time so everything's a little bit dormant right now the leaves are not blooming yet so remember to use your imagination and pretend there's the pretty green leaves there as well but you got to kind of see what it looks like in the winter time but like i said what i like about this neighborhood is you get some beautiful homes these were all built kind of in that 2005 2014 time range and right up the road from here is what I'm talking about with walkability. You can walk to some coffee shops, some restaurants, and bonus, it's right next to the Beltline. So you can hop on there. You can go up to Reynolds Town, get some coffee at my favorite place, Muchacho. There's also Madison Yards just across I-20, and they have a Publix and AMC theater. So a lot of stuff that you can walk to. I think a lot of people don't think about this as being a walkable neighborhood but it definitely is. So let me walk up here just a little bit, show you a few shots of this neighborhood before I move on to my next one. I'm walking right here on the official Beltline here in Glenwood Park and it actually stops right here the Beltline does I mean it keeps going but it's they're currently working on that next section that's going to go from Glenwood Park down to Grant Park so that's currently being worked on right now so that'll be amazing when it's done uh, but yeah Glenwood Park you really have all your modern conveniences right here you've got a Kroger grocery store there's a Chick-fil-a <laughs> and some coffee shops restaurants all that good stuff so very walkable neighborhood and it's very close access to i-20 so if you need to pop onto the highway you you're very close to that as well so i forgot to mention the monthly hoa in this neighborhood is 175 dollars there's also a pool membership that you can buy so if you like to hang out by the pool in the summertime you can certainly buy a membership to use the community pool in this neighborhood okay that's glenwood park in a nutshell let me head to my next destination and tell you more about that one and guys it's a good one okay this is another great community and i promise not all these communities that i'm going to show you today are like uber expensive but this is one of the more expensive ones these are a lot of newer construction builds built in anywhere from 2017 to 2021 if you like a modern farmhouse style this is where you want to check out i'm over in the ormwood park neighborhood this is called farmhouses at ormwood it's a small collection of 
modern farmhouses, mainly five bedroom, five and a half bath with around 3,000 square feet. They're gonna sell anywhere from 1.1 to $1.4 million. The HOA is anywhere from $285, $295 a month. Now there's really not a lot of amenities in this neighborhood. It's just a small collection of, I would say a handful of like maybe 30, 40 homes. And it is right up on the Beltline. So this is a true Beltline community. I'm walking up to an entrance point right now. Um, I would say the rest of Ormond Park is really just kind of a neighborhood. There's not a lot going on in this neighborhood. It's just a sweet little neighborhood in between Grant Park and East Atlanta. So if you're looking for like restaurants and stuff, your best bet is to go over to East Atlanta and go in there to East Atlanta Village and they have a ton of little restaurant options there. But I'm gonna go up these steps right here and show you how close we are to the Beltline. So as you can see, super close Beltline access. You can easily walk up over to the restaurants in Glenwood Park, making this area not so bad in the Ormwood Park area to get over to some restaurants and that kind of thing. And I believe they'll have this section done by 2025. So it's not too far away from getting this next Beltline com section completed. Very exciting for the community. And yeah, this is a beautiful neighborhood. They don't have huge yards. They have just little, small backyard so if you're not looking for a huge yard this could be a spot for you y'all i am enjoying this 70 degree weather that we're having for you across the pond that went celsius i looked it up it's 21 degrees celsius so there you go but i should mention that if you are thinking about making a move to the atlanta area and you want further help with your home search make sure you reach out to me shoot me a text give me a call send me an email let's set up a time to chit chat about your lifestyle and your budget what you're looking for don't be shy reach out to me i am here to help you okay i'm going to move on to my next neighborhood and I promise you this one will not be quite as expensive. The next community I want to tell you about is just south of the East Atlanta area. This neighborhood is called East Side Walk, and it's comprised of homes built anywhere from 2007 up to 2017. You know, they build these kind of out in phases. So some of the older homes you can get in like the 450K price point, and some of the newer homes you're gonna be paying in that mid 500 to low 600K price point. So a lot more affordable than last couple of options that I gave you. And you get a really good sized home, you know, anywhere from 1800 to 4,000 square feet. It just kind of depends on the home and the size that it was built. And the HOA is $600 a year. There is a community pool that you can walk to. Now, outside of this neighborhood, there's really not a lot going on. There is a park just probably half a mile down the road. Otherwise, there's really not a lot of walkability. But, you know, if you wanted to get over to the East Atlanta Village, it is a short 10 minute drive. It's just about three miles south of the East Atlanta Village area. There you can grab something to eat, go to a bar, that kind of thing. Uh, but, you know, if you wanted to live by the East Atlanta Village, you would get a shoebox compared to what you would pay uh, out here. So if you're wanting some more space, kind of a yard, a nice home with a garage, uh, yeah, you'll get a lot more if you just go over here to Eastside Walk than you would if you're looking for something right up in the East Atlanta Village. Now there's a couple other communities near the East Atlanta Village similar to this. So if you're wanting to know more about some of these different neighborhoods, make sure you're reaching out to me, shoot me a text, give me a call, send me an email. I got your back. Okay, I'm gonna head up north again show you another community. I'm walking up a hill, need to catch my breath. So let's keep going. I got a couple more to show you. The next neighborhood on my list is a Sutherland Place. This is located in the neighborhood of Lake Clare. If you don't know where Lake Clare is, this is kind of wedged in between Candler Park and City of Decatur. So very popular neighborhoods, very close to a lot of things to do. So if you wanna get into the city, it's a very short drive away. Um, this is a very tight knit community. Homes are really close together, but you get some really big 
craftsman style homes. These were built in 2005. The annual HOA is $1,200. These were built by John Willis and just a lovely community. There are also some condos in this neighborhood. I'd say on average for one of these larger craftsman style homes, you're gonna be paying anywhere from upper 900s to probably 1.2, 1.3 million. Now those condos that I was talking about, those are probably in the 350 to 500K price point, but sweet area, um, again, not a lot to walk to when you're in this neighborhood. You have to kind of go out on the cab, but you're not too far away from some coffee shops and that kind of thing. So it's not too much of a sacrifice. So, okay, I think I have time for one more neighborhood today. So let me head there next. All right, from my last community that I wanna share with you today, this is Emory Park Manor. This is kind of in the North Decatur area. It is very close to the Emory area. So you can imagine a lot of people that work over at Emory probably live here in this neighborhood. But what I like about this neighborhood, while there's not a lot to do in this exact neighborhood, it's just a lot of homes. You get a lot of large brick and craftsman style homes. And I would say on average, you're gonna be spending around 900 to just around that million dollar price point. The HOA is $600 a year, but what I like about this neighborhood is that it's very close to some walking trails in the DeKalb Tennis Center. There's a nice park over at Mason Mill Park. So if you live kind of like that active lifestyle and you wanna to walk to something, well, you've got some great trails that you can walk on. I love walking on these trails, especially in the summertime, because they're pretty well shaded and you know, in the summertime, it does get hot. Emory Park Manor is one of those neighborhoods where the homes are close together. You don't get a lot of yard. It's more of an executive style home. So if you're looking for kind of low yard maintenance, that kind of thing, this might be a spot for you. And plus it's close to, like I said, the Emory, the park area. So. I'm gonna finish out my video by walking a little bit of this trail so you can see what it's like, but I've also shown it in my North Decatur vlog tour. I think I've showed it a couple different videos. So let me walk a little bit of this so you can see what this park is like and we'll finish from there. All right, so that gives you a little sampling of these trails over here in Mason Mill Park. I just love them. But you guys, time is running out for me today. So stick around for part two of this series of planned communities here in the Atlanta area. I hope you join back with me. Thanks for watching this video. And hey, if you're thinking about making a move to Atlanta, whether that's tomorrow or next year, reach out to me, shoot me a text, give me a call, send me an email. I would love to help you find a place to call home here in the Atlanta area. Okay, you guys, as always, if you see me on the wild, make sure you say hello. But until next time, I'll see you around the neighborhood.